Along the ledge of this beautiful precipice, traffic moves at unreduced rates of speed. Safety. Safety with increased speed. Will driverless cars someday make human drivers obsolete? Would you be willing to trust your safety to an algorithm? This is Philosophy Talk, the program that questions everything. Uh, except your intelligence. Humans text and drive. They drink and drive. They drive while they're half asleep. Give me a computer any day of the week over a human driver. Oh, come on. Our vehicles were driving through Mountain View, and this is what we encountered. This is a woman in an electric wheelchair chasing a duck in circles on the road. I, I'm a long-time trolleyologist, uh, which means that I study moral dilemmas in which public transportation emergencies threaten people's lives if you don't do something quick. And then I became one of the first neurotrolleyologists, and so it just makes sense that I would become a computational trolleyologist. <laughs> <laughs> what will the media make mm. of dozens mm. of crashes where we know exactly how the computer killed the people. They'll blame it on Hillary Clinton. <laughs> right now, 33,000 people are killed in car crashes in this country every year. That risk didn't stop us from paving the freeways. Dangerous roads have never stopped us from finding out where they lead. Anyway, I say skip the driverless car and go back to what you said you'd give us future, flying cars. You promised. Where are they? Probably all got shot down by drones. We never think these things through, do we? I gotta go. <laughs> I can listen to you, it keeps me stable for days.